Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, and I wanted to uh, get with you and give you an update on our meeting from session last night. Last night's session voted nine to one to continue to move forward with our transformation process. They, uh, they took into account the poll, which thank you for everyone who participated. We had about 132 different folks turn in poll numbers. And 84% of those said that they were on board with the prescriptions that were given to us in our consultation weekend. And about 13 or so percent said that they were not on board with it at this point. And we've had a couple who just couldn't decide as well as a couple who were for it, but had some reservations as well. So wanted to give you that, that update. And also I want to take just a moment and uh, it, uh, talk to those who maybe thought that we should not move forward with this. And what I would ask of you is that you would hang in there with us because as the elders have talked to some of you and I've talked to some of you, I know there are a lot of misconceptions around what these prescriptions mean. And so I would just ask that you would hang in there with us. And as we go through the next few months, see how it feels for you. Try it out. I think what you will find is what is being asked of us is not that difficult. And in fact, can be very life-giving to us as well. So we will be addressing those misconceptions that many of us have around what worship will look like, what witnessing will look like, that will all come. And so I would ask that you would hang in there with us. Please do that. Also want to let you know that um, as a result of the vote, we will have a service of repentance on Sunday, December 1st. And as this says, a repentance is simply meaning turning from one direction and going in the opposite direction. And that's really what this service is all about. It is about confessing. All of us as humans sin. We sin because we do things that don't please God, but we also don't do things that we should do that don't please God. And we have done that. We continue to sin every day that we were born up till today. I will sin today. You will sin today. And we will continue to sin until we die. And so a service of repentance simply means we're going to take time to stop and confess. Confess that we do that, that we are sinners by nature. And we want to turn from that. And in particular, we're talking about the way that we have lived in the world. We have not shared the hope that is within us in Jesus Christ. And that is what we say, I want to do something different to that end. I want to share the hope that is within me. And we will have an opportunity to explore what that hope is and why it is good for us. So I want to invite you to come to our service repentance. I know some of you have said, well, I don't have anything to repent of. I would say we all have something to repent of. And so I would invite you to come because... This service will be kind of in three chunks. It will be about 45 minutes in a service where there will be some music, there will be a video, there will be some testimonies, as well as an opportunity for us to confess where we have not pleased God because of maybe what we've done or what we have not done that we should have. And so we will take about 45 minutes for that. Then we will get in cars in about four or so per car, and we will go to different spots in Hopkins and Minnetonka, places like parks, schools, businesses, government centers. And what we, I would ask is we're going to go there and observe and ask God to give us insight. What do we see? What do we notice? What is our perceptions of where we are? You don't have to get out of the car if you don't want to. If you want to, that's great. Walk around a little bit. And then there will be a chance to pray. I know some of you don't like 
praying out loud? And you don't have to. I simply want you to pray silently. Pray silently for what God is laying on your heart. It could be, I pray for the children that go to the school. I pray for their teachers. Lord, open the doors that they might know you. That's what we will do, and that will take about 45 minutes. Every car will have two or three stops, depending how far it is from faith. And then what we'll do is we will gather back at faith after that, and we will share lunch. And there we'll have the opportunity to hear from each other what we saw, what we observed, what God laid on our hearts. And I think that will be a good time of celebration and of wonder for what God will be doing and laying on our hearts in the midst of that. And then we'll celebrate that by sharing communion together. So the whole service would start at 1015, and I'm going to guess we're probably done by 1230. So I hope you take time to do that. I'm looking forward to it, and I believe it's going to be a powerful time for Faith Church. So I invite you to be a part of that and come and enjoy it. So I'll see you this Sunday for Stewardship Sunday, and then the following Sunday will be our service of repentance. Thank you for walking this road with me and the elders and our staff. I believe that God is going to do great things in our midst. And so let's follow in what the footsteps of Christ, for he is good. God bless. Bye-bye now.